So in this question, we're asked to find the solutions to this equation. Now, first thing I want to point out that this is different from this being equal to zero, because if that was the case, then the solutions would be when each piece is equal to zero. And that would be the case when x is either 3 over 2, and this would be 0 when x is minus 5 third. You'll notice that that's the trap answer, C, which is incorrect, because in this case, it's equal to minus 14. So the traditional way of doing this would be to do the expansion, meaning multiply these out. So that's going to be 6x squared plus 10x minus 9x. And then the last term is minus 15 equal to minus 14. I'm going to combine like terms, so that's plus x. Move the 14 here, it's going to become minus 15 plus 14, so it's 1. And then you have to factor this. And the way I do this is multiply 6 and minus 1, which is minus 6, so I need two numbers that add up to 1, multiply to minus 6, and that's going to be 3 and minus 2. So you rewrite that middle term using those two numbers. And then you take each term and uh, these first two terms in pair and factor out the largest common term. And for the second set, you have to factor out something so that you end up with minus 2x plus, sorry, 2x plus 1 as well in the parentheses. And you'll notice if I pull out a minus 1, I get exactly that same term. Then you pull out 2x plus 1, you get 3x minus 1. So now, this is equal to 0, and the solutions would be when each piece is 0, this would be minus half, and that would be 0 when x is 1 third. So the two solutions are minus half and um, 1 third, which is choice A. So this is kind of the traditional way of doing it. You can certainly plug in some numbers uh, using the calculator. That's an option. So what you're doing is looking for an answer uh, meaning a value of x that when you plug it in gives you minus 14. So that you just the problem with plugging in is that you just have to go, it's a trial and error. Now, for example, in this case, I can't really see where I should start. There is no particular um, choice that I want to start with. I mean, I do see one third minus one third, but I also have three over two and minus three over two. But let me just show it how you would actually plug in. We now know the answer is A. So if I'm plugging in one third, I mean, you want to do this with the calculator. Uh, three times one third is one. One plus five is six. And then this is two third minus three, which is um, two minus nine over three times six. That goes here. That's minus seven times two. It's minus 14 indeed. So that one works out. And since no other choice has one-third, uh, we know the answer has to be A. So so that's kind of how you would do it by plugging in. But I, I do urge you to know how to do this because when it comes to harder problems, um, you will need to understand how to approach it in this fashion. So to recap, the answer is A.